hospital. Is he dreaming of his mother's illness again? Good morning. Morning. Am I close to the hospital? Yes, sir. The Yellow Bridge Hospital. Oh, great. Uh, can you tell me where is the entrance? Which department are you heading to? I, uh, I'm visiting a friend. I'm not sure. Well, the hospital has two facilities. The second of those is across the road. Best is to take the main entrance and give your friend's name at reception. They should let you know easily. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Someone must have forgotten to turn that ambulance's lights off. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Yellow Bridge Hospital. What is your ticket number? I... I haven't taken a ticket. Please do take one, sir. It's right by our counter. Thank you. It's 5.05 p.m. Is the clock working though? No. So, still... Hello? Hello, sir. Did you take a ticket? Uh, yes, it's number EO33. We're calling it in a minute, okay? I just want a quick bit of information. It'll just take a minute. Please wait here. So, still fine. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I guess I... I'm fine. Do you need a, a glass of water or anything? Oh, no. No. Thank you. Are you waiting for an appointment? I can stay here if you need me to. No, I... am... Um, I'm waiting. For my wife, she, um, she's going through surgery, liver tumor. Oh, I'm sorry. It was cut early, so, I mean, it's just so damn tough. I can't even imagine. Please, sit down, Mr. John, John Stevens. It's nice to meet you, John. I'm Sean. How about yourself? I'm actually looking for a friend of mine. I was told that he'd be here. Anything serious? I really don't know. I'm assuming it might be. I'm sorry to hear that, John. For some specialties such as oncology, psychiatry, medical genetics or neurology, there is none better. If it's something related to cardio, well, I'd recommend him seeing Dr. Walker in St. Thomas's Hospital. Thank you, Sean. You, you sure did your research. Well, when someone you love so dearly is suffering, all your effort should go into searching for the best possible solution. And you don't stop or pay attention to anything else until you're certain that, well, that you've done all you could. Of course. I'm sure she'll be fine, Sean. I... How long is the operation? Actually, it should be done by now. It's making me quite nervous. Do you have any update? No. It's nerve-wracking. I'm too afraid to even get close to the surgery door. But in the end, I know there's nothing I can do other than waiting. Hey, it's going to be all right. Would you do that? Sure, it's no big deal. Thank you, John. Not at all. Uh, ah, did they... Oh, yes, they, they finally called my number. Don't worry, John. Really. And I hope everything is fine with him. Thanks. Hello. Hello, sir. Did you take a ticket? Uh, yes, it's number EO33. I believe you've just called it. Thank you. How may we help you? I'm here to visit a, a, a friend of mine. Certainly, sir. 
Do you know which wing is he or she in? Uh, no, actually. I just found out she was hospitalized, but I've no idea what's the matter with her. Um, okay. Can you give me her name, please? Uh, yes, yes. Isabel Williams. Thank you, sir. Hold a minute, please. Sorry, sir. There is no record of an Isabel Williams hospitalized at our facilities. Are you sure she was sent here? I... Oh, my God. Mm, please hold. No, neither. They may have been sent to a different hospital or have been discharged from the hospital already. I can try to... Hold on. He's in an appointment with one of our doctors. Really? Now? Yes, from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Oh, great. Thank you so much. There, uh, there might have been some miscommunication then. Which department? I'm sorry, sir, but in this case, I cannot provide that information. I shouldn't even tell you this, but he's in this building and will most likely exit through this entrance. So you may wait here if you want. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You There's an operation underway. Please do not enter. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to know if you have any new information that you might share. No new information, sir. Can you please go and ask the doctors? It's really hard being left in the dark. Sir, I ask you to... If something happens to the husband of the woman in surgery, I'll hold you accountable. Wait here. I can't believe it. Did it really work? Sir? Yes? The operation is almost finished. One of the surgeons will leave a little earlier to update you. Maybe at around 5.20pm. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Have a nice day. Any news on the surgery? No. Try to calm down. Someone left a newspaper, Yellow Bridge Times. Rita, what are you doing here? Uh, John, uh, I'm doing nothing. What? Where's Luke? Luke? I don't know. He's not home. If you want to talk to him, come back later. Rita? What are you talking about? Nothing. I'm, I'm doing lunch. Luke should be home in a couple of hours with it. Please make yourself comfortable if you want to wait. I'll be back in a second. R Rita? Rita! Oh, what the hell? Oh, my head. What the fuck? There was something written on the lake. It's working. Well, the button lit up. What happened? Any news on the surgery? No. Try. Oh, it moved. It's 510 now. Was it uh, the elevator button? There's something I need to do at this time. 5.15 indeed. Hmm. Let's do it. Hmm. Let's do it.
any news on the surgery. Sorry to bother you. Not at all. What time will my friend end his appointment? Wait a minute, please. Um, at 5.30 p.m. Thank you. Hmm. Let's do it. Oh, it might be... Daddy! Daddy! Oh. Sorry, darling. You seem upset. No. No. Luke! John. Is that you? What... What are you doing here? Is everything all right? Yes, with me it is. How about you? What's wrong? I heard you were in the hospital, so I just ran here. Who told you that? Well, it was just an appointment, routine stuff. Luke, you're not telling me everything, are you? You're right. I don't know if you know, my mother died a couple of days ago. I think I didn't cope well with her loss and I was feeling a little strange. That's all. Nothing to worry about. I miss her too, Daddy. I know, Annie. I know. Luke, I may not know exactly what you've been through, but I've got to know you to the point that I'm sure you're not well. You don't need to keep this to yourself. John, it's... It's very kind of you, but everything... Luke! I have to take this little devil home. She must be starving, aren't you, Annie? Yes, a little. But don't mind me. What's for lunch? <laughs> I have no idea. Something great. Y you want to go and see those butterflies again in the garden? Sure. I'll be back up in a minute, okay? Thanks, Eddie. John, Dr. Medson is a great... I'll be all right. Oh, Luca. How serious is it? Dr. Medson is a great... Do Luke. We really have to go now, John. Thanks again for the concern. And don't worry. Everything will be okay. I promise. Have a good day. Luke! Oh, no. Is he... dying? I need to go to the second floor and talk to this Dr. Medson. I shouldn't go to... It's 5.30 p.m. Your friend is... I've met him already. I hope all is... Actually... Any news on the sir? No. Should we go to Doc... Oh, it doesn't seem... Wait. Can I... I'm feeling sick. What's happening? No. No. Sorry to bother you. Hello. How can I get to... Dr. Madsen is on holiday and comes back only next week, sir. If you're here because of Dr. Madsen's investigation, I can call Mr. Luke Williams. If not, and it's an urgent matter, I can schedule an appointment with another doctor. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say Luke? Yes, he's in charge of Dr. Madsen's investigation while he's away. I... Uh, how long has Luke Williams been working with Dr. Madsen in his investigation? For over three years now. He is funding the investigation and has been working with Dr. Madsen since its beginning. He surely can help you with whatever you need. He's funding the investigation? How did he... Luke Williams? 